Oh, we got Richard Williams is with Lizzie somewhere in the grounds. Oh, oh thank you. I wouldn't look like a play. Uh, Richard, <laughs> <laughs> thank you for joining us here. You're live on Live at Wimbledon, which is the Wimbledon television. Um, you must be quite a happy man from Serena's performance this morning. I'm happy to be on Wimbledon television because I watch you every day, all day. Really? Yeah, so I'm happy for that. And Serena did pretty good today. I thought she did great, but I really would have been a more pleased to see the track coming in on that first serve. Uh -huh. Well, she won and she's through to the next round. What about um, the doubles? They're playing doubles later, her and Venus, aren't they? That should be most exciting, and uh, I hope that they do well in it. Uh -huh. This is one of your favourite tournaments, isn't it? You're just like a fixture there on Centre Court watching. Well, what I love about Wilmington is that they always do something new here. Every year I come here, they have something new, and I watch it, and it's really great. I'm happy to be here. What do you, what do you think Serena's chances are of winning another Wimbledon title? I think it's great. I think it's just terrific. I think she needs to make a, a few minor adjustments. And if she makes those minor adjustments, I think that she'll do extremely well. And why do I think she'll do well? Let's tell you that, too. It's because she's super fast, and she's hitting the ball very, very well. If the surge stay on like that, it's going to be rough for everyone else. But there's about three minor adjustments I think Serena need to make. And what are those? Have you told her what they are? Well, I don't want the, her opposition to pick them up right now. So I better not mention them. I don't think she'd be happy with that. But have you told her? Does she know what they are? Yes, they, she does. Uh -huh. OK. And the doubles, will they be winning another? What would this be, their fifth doubles title if they win? I'm not sure on that one. But I think Venus will be off her happy that she went out on the first round to uh, win the double, so, so, so I think that she'll go all out. How is Venus? I think Venus is doing very, very well. Someone walked up to me uh, yesterday and said, I'm so sorry about your daughter. And I said, who? Oh, it's Venus. I said, what, what's about, what about it? And I had visited the hospital for her patients, not with the same problem that Venus has, but unbelievable problems that's hindered them for the rest of their life. And I thought, boy, we take life for granted. Venus is OK. It must be so hard for her because it's a condition that no one can really see. No, but what I hope she learned to do is that, is that when you cannot control anything and it's out of your hand, just do the best you can. Whatever you do, that's enough. And as a dad, it must be difficult. What do you say to her when things, you know, for instance, like when she goes out in the first round of Wimbledon? I really don't say nothing. I say very little about tennis to either one of them. Everything I have to say is on the practice court. And what I say on the practice court is that Whatever you decide to do out there, give it your best shot, and that's enough. Who is Serena's greatest threat here? I don't think Serena have a threat here. I, I don't look at it that way. I think that Serena can hit the ball as hard as anyone here. I think, but I do know she's faster than anyone here. And I think most people here look at Serena as a threat. Now, whether Serena have a threat here, it could be anyone, because everyone is playing extremely good. So, but I don't, I don't, I don't look at it that way. But you must be looking for. Well, I don't know whether you're looking forward. Maybe you're <laughs> dreading the thought of a Serena Maria Sharapova final. No, no, not at all. I think Serena plays Sharapova very well in Madrid, and uh, in, in other places too. I don't know the last time Sharapova even beat Serena. So, no, I don't. I wouldn't look at it that way. I think the biggest threat to any of the players here, whether Serena, anyone, is someone unknown that you don't know much about that's playing great tennis like the girl did with uh, Carolina yesterday. Mm -hmm. So who would you see as one of those unknowns? Right now I don't know because I don't, I don't look at the schedule and I don't watch the players. Now Serena has tweeted that you said to her, Serena, if you can't win, then lose badly. What did you mean by that? No, what I mean is that whatever you do, leave the losing part on the court and get all the bad remarks out of your head there before you come on the practice court or any place. Because once it's over, it's over. And there's nothing can be done to rectify it. And Serena had the tendency sometimes of carrying a match over with. So if you're going to lose, lose as bad as you can, but do the best you can with it also. Well, it's been a pleasure to meet you. You must be so proud of those girls of yours. Extremely, extremely proud. And I thank you very much, and I'm so happy to be on Wilmington Television. Keep watching, Richard. Keep watching. Lovely to talk to will. you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.